Good morning, you guys. So this morning we're gonna take you through a what we eat in a day. I am about two and a half weeks postpartum. We just had both moms visit and take off, so we are getting back on track with day-to-day -day life, trying to hit our stride and find a little bit of rhythm and routine, but easier said than done with a newborn. This morning we're having tropical mango green smoothie bowls with passion fruit added in. We have an entire fence line lined with passion fruit this year. They make smoothies so tart and delicious and sweet. We usually follow our smoothies or smoothie bowls with some kind of oat dish. I know a lot of you always say, I drink my smoothie like you guys, but I'm still hungry. What else do you eat? We are always definitely consuming more than just our smoothies. In fact, right now, especially with breastfeeding, I'm consuming probably about a thousand calories just with breakfast alone. So don't be afraid to add something else nutritious and delicious along with your smoothie. Maybe it's just fresh fruits, but we really love all kinds of oats. So either an oat bake or stovetop cherry oats or waffles which have been our favorite lately so dinner tonight is going to be so epic it has been highly requested since we shared it on our instagram stories we're going to be making chipotle bowls we make our own sofritas so it's so delicious we're gonna have all the fixins and take you through how simple it can be it's basically meal prep and we're able to keep every single component of our chipotle bowls in tupperwares in the fridge and we grab and make these amazing salads for about three sometimes four days in a row so i think you guys are really gonna love this one and it is also added to our meal planner so be sure to check that out if you're not already a subscriber be sure to check out the eat move rest club it's our yearly membership which includes access to our meal planner and recipe app we are adding to it on a monthly basis you get access to our private Facebook group, our entire ebook collection, weekly group Zoom coaching calls, and monthly challenges. Last Friday on our membership live, we had a, a couple people asking like, how do I make food fun? How do I get excited to cook? How do I get my family excited to cook? And well, again, we've got a handful of kids now and the way we do it is like we just said, do a Chipotle bar, do a smoothie bar all the fixins kind of a create your own let the kids grab and go this is so much fun so nutritious and the best part it's all super delicious so we have goji berries mulberries the super nutritious quinoa cereal that the kids love we literally just put all kinds of toppings on our smoothie bowls this is how you make food fun sometimes when i feel like we make the kids their meals and throw everything into a bowl they're a lot less likely to eat it so instead we do like the smoothie bowl or like the rice and beans base for their chipotle bowl and then let them choose what toppings they want included on their smoothies and on their dinners and they're a lot more likely to enjoy it if they have a say every single food has its purpose that especially holds true with our smoothie bowl toppings our superfoods so we really love the dried black mulberries because they are extremely high in iron, which is great for little kiddos. And then we love the goji berries because they're super high in vitamin A. The hemp seeds are of course healthy fats and protein and cacao. Cacao is actually a great source of magnesium and other beneficial minerals and antioxidants. Our green smoothie is literally like a whole foods multivitamin in a glass or in a bowl today. And when you add in those superfoods, it's even more so. So begin to look at your foods and educate yourself on what do they contain because it just brings more enjoyment and encouragement to eat healthy and know that you're doing your body good. So we've said it before and we'll say it again. This is all about getting what you need, obviously, regardless of what diet you're on, you need to have your bases covered. And we feel like we're doing our best on this plant-based diet and by starting with an epic green smoothie. This, like Aaron said, is a multivitamin in a glass. You could eat french fries for the rest of the day and still get everything you need. Don't do that, but you could. It's that nutritious. We also recommend, let me grab it in here, for those of you who are looking for a little bit more, this is our absolute favorite. This is Compliment. We've been using Compliment for years. We know the whole family over at Compliment. We love what they're doing. Everything from the fact that they're a B Corporation, their packaging is compostable, and yes, they are making the best daily essential that again, we've been using for years. So I highly recommend this, you guys. It has everything you need and nothing more. So no more neon pee from over supplementing with multivitamins. This has the eight essentials that you need, especially on a plant-based diet, 
But again, even if you're not on a plant-based diet, we seriously recommend Complement. We'll put everything in the link below. Definitely go out and get yourself some Complement if you haven't already. Our followers are loving this. And while I'm on the subject and digging around, I'm gonna show you guys also a good way to boost your blends like the green smoothie. This is the daily green powder with spinach, moringa, chlorella. We put a lot of whole foods into these smoothies, but why not add a little bit more just to make sure you're getting what you need. Max is a killer on his baseball field. Our kids are excelling. We're strong, we're healthy, couldn't feel better. And we really think that it's because of the way we eat and live. It's not about replacing what you aren't getting. It's about complementing our already robust and well-rounded plant-based diet. Highly, highly recommend this, you guys. Tell me what you're making. We're making baked oats. We put bananas in them and baking soda. A pinch of salt and cinnamon. And cinnamon. Here and flesh. Cinnamon. Protein. And of course, oats. The old-fashioned oats. That's all we need. I have some unbaked oat bake too. You can't beat them? Join them. You can't beat them? You can't join them. We're having the most amazing lunch. So delicious. I had to take my mom to the airport last night. While I was gone, Aaron made this for the kids. Super simple tofu scramble. This was a lifesaver when we were cutting out eggs and quinoa on the side with a couple slices of sourdough bread and some avocado. Such a delicious and complete meal. Had to put a little sriracha on top. Mm, so, so good. Tastes good in the fridge for a couple days. Mm, so good. Okay, you guys, so now it is Chipotle bar time. This has been our lifesaver this last couple of weeks. This, like she said before, is super easy for us to just put in the fridge. Lasts us a couple days. If we want it for lunch, we can have it for lunch. If we want it for dinner, we can have it for dinner. Right now, it's about five o'clock, so it's kind of a late lunch, early dinner. We'll probably have some smoothie bowls or something later this evening. So, I'm gonna get going, I'm gonna chop romaine lettuce or some salad greens, some green leaf. On top of that, just like Chipotle, we've got some corn. Occasionally, I'll just open up a can or two of black beans and heat them on the stove. Better yet, we like to soak and cook our black beans in the Instant Pot, that's what we're doing today. Aaron started soaking some beans this morning. I'm about to rinse those, put those in the Instant Pot right now. We do some brown rice and then the star of the show is our sofritas. I like to saute a red onion with some garlic. Probably throw a little bit of veggie broth in there. About a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of sriracha. You can do less if you don't like it as spicy. And then probably a teaspoon of chili powder, salt and pepper to taste. If you need more flavor, add more paste, add more sriracha, add more chili powder. It's pretty simple. Okay, cut to me chopping some mushrooms. I also add these in. I like these shiitakes. I sneak them into pastas. I sneak them into things like this. Nobody ever knows. I kinda like being mic'd up. I feel like I'm like one of these NFL coaches or players. Just need to not be dropping a bunch of F-bombs. Hopefully I won't cut my finger off. A little behind the scenes family action, show them the real explicit version of our <laughs> YouTube channel. Just kidding. There's no explicit version here. Kids, get off the couch. To prevent it from sticking, I just add a little bit more broth. Let it all saute up while we chop our veggies. I think I'm gonna get the old lady to help with that part, so. I like to buy the extra firm tofu and just mash it up. Then once you get the tofu in there, you can add a little bit more liquid. You don't want it to be soupy, but you do want it to actually cook. So I'd add a little bit more liquid, turn the heat down so this just simmers for a few minutes. 
since the beans have been soaking for eight hours, they're pretty much ready to go in the Instant Pot. People say don't eat certain beans and things if you're on a plant-based diet because of the lectins. Well, soaking your beans takes care of that problem. So that's why we do this. You can rinse them once, you can rinse them more than once, which is even better. And then of course, we're gonna cook ours in some purified, some RO water. RO is reverse osmosis. Good purified water. You guys, water is so, so important. Aaron and I have really spent the last couple of years getting our water figured out. I'm gonna hit start on these beans. There's basically a bean button that I push and it takes care of itself. So something I like to do, whether I'm making a salad or a Buddha bowl or a Chipotle bowl is incorporate one of every color of the rainbow. That way I know I'm getting in lots of variety of nutrition and just color. It makes it more enjoyable. If you haven't heard of color therapy, Google it, it is a real thing. Just like when you smell a wonderful smelling flower, we have so many beautiful tropical flowers. I go on a flower forage almost daily and there are so many good smells and they really do evoke different emotions in you. That's why they've bottled things into essential oil blends now. So same holds true for color. Bringing in lots of color is going to be very therapeutic. It's gonna be more fun and enjoyable to eat. So for red, I've got red bell peppers. We also have some red cherry tomatoes we're gonna to add in and or salsa. And then orange, I'm chopping a sweet potato and I also have a white Japanese variety. And then yellow, we've got our organic frozen sweet corn. We just put it in our fine mesh strainer and run it under hot water. And then I'm gonna chop some green lettuce. This is just green leaf lettuce. Another good one to have is romaine with this dish. Blue is tricky unless you're doing blueberries, but we're not doing blueberries. <laughs> we do have a purple or red cabbage that I'm gonna add in. So yeah, one of every color of the rainbow. If you guys have not tried the Japanese sweet potato variety, they have a dark red skin and a white flesh and they're definitely our favorite. I'm gonna cube the sweet potatoes and pop them in the oven on a parchment lined baking sheet at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Sometimes I'll drizzle a little bit of water on top just to add a little bit of moisture. And I'll bake them for about 15 minutes, then give them a toss give them another 10 or so minutes until they're tender. You can pop a fork into them or a toothpick to check. And then we'll be topping everything and enjoying our dinner. So I have just about a half cup of cashews I've been soaking in water for about an hour. I'm gonna drain and rinse and add new water and blend it in our mini bullet along with salt and pepper. I'm gonna keep it really simple. It's just like a cashew cream that's so good as opposed to like a white cheese sauce they would have at Chipotle and then our guac. So we've got a couple healthy fat options. I'm gonna add a little bit of dried cilantro to the sweet corn, the tomatoes, and the guac. All right, you guys, go ahead and check out our Eat, Move, Rest Club to grab this recipe within the Eat, Move, Rest meal planner and recipe app. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like it, leave us some love in the comments below. Let us know what meal is your favorite. Is it breakfast? Is it lunch? Is it dinner? Which one are you most excited to have next? I know what I'm excited for, this right here. So until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. Will you tell everyone they gotta try this? You got to try this. It's really yummy. Bye bye. <laughs> Max is getting without any question our heavy hitter award oh, yeah. for this year. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Max. Good job. Good job, Max. Woo.